Just right for a tale of terror. Ha! What are you doing? Getting ready for Fright Night. What else? Stop! What is that? It's a magic flute from my dad's shop. It's supposed to make it rain. You're not supposed to take dad's stuff. Magic never works. Never say never. Maybe you're just doing it wrong. You think? You never know the power of something magical until it's been tested. I hope this is about your story. If you believe in magic, then you know it can be very powerful. But only if you understand how to use it. Magical powers can be used for good. But if you don't know what you're doing, Back off, because that same power can turn against you. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story The Tale of the Quicksilver. Trap a creature in night, trace a door on a wall with chalk so white. Barius Lokaradi, creature of darkness, come to me. Sweet home. It's big. Hey, last one up, get some of your bed. Well, go after him. You might win. I like the lumpy bed. Hey, we got our own bathroom. Man, it's cold in here. This place is great. Let's get our stuff. guys bedtime <laughs> um i think we gotta skip school tomorrow oh. <laughs> yeah uh, there's plenty one packed school can wait <laughs> no it can't you feel all right yeah just tired well you both look exhausted now come on hit the sheets mm -hmm. and no staying up late telling ghost stories either i mean it aaron every time you do you scare your brother half to death okay up you go okay night good night Right. Hey, 
said no scary stuff. I didn't do it. Yeah, sure. Oh, I get it. Paybacks are telling you those stories at the hotel last night. <sighs> well, sorry, pal, but I don't scare like you. You are so full of it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Yeah, come here. Oh, come <laughs> Uh, wait, wait, wait. Shouldn't we clean this up? Nah. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. Hi, Aaron. Hi. Hi, I'm Miss Bird. I'll introduce you to the rest of the class. Class, we have a new student joining us, Aaron Johnston. Please make him feel welcome. Aaron, you can take the seat next to Connie. Oh, sorry. Mr. Johnston, please take your seat. Open your geometry books to page 60. Comedian, Mr. Johnston? No, ma'am, I was just... Good. We don't tolerate comedians in this classroom. Now pick up your things. We'll be having a quiz tomorrow, so I suggest you take notes. This is not a good start, Mr. Johnston. Well, maybe, maybe I'm jinxed or something. Yeah. Hey, you okay? You don't look that hard. Yeah, I'm fine. Hi, Aaron. <laughs> Ow. Uh, cool necklace. Huh? Your necklace. I like it. Oh, uh, yeah, um, it, it was my grandfather's. He was a pilot, um, it's his wings. They're silver. I noticed that. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Yep. Aaron's got a girlfriend. <sighs> do not. You too. Do not. You too. I don't. I don't. Give me. <laughs>
what are you doing? just had this nightmare there was this 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 nasty looking guy and, and and connie was there that girl from school yeah figures <coughs> you feeling all right not really i think i'm sick erin what's going on But, but it says Laura. Then, who's that? Story. But this one's for real! Oh, I think you've got a fever. Have you guys been up all night? There was a ghost. It came through the wall! Guys, enough. Look, I want you both in bed right now. Come on, let's go. Now! <coughs> you sure you're okay? No, I'm not okay. A ghost just tried to go get... Go to sleep. <clears throat> You'll feel better in the morning. Good night, guys. And no more ghost stories. Wait, I have no idea why I do this all the time. And it just, it's so Hi, Connie. Weird. Hi, Aaron. Um, can I talk to you for a minute? Alone? Sure. See ya. <laughs> What's up? Uh, are you related to a girl named Laura Turner? Why? Because I have to talk to her. That's not funny. I I'm not trying to be funny. Who is she? Laura's my twin sister. Who got you to do this? Nobody. Is there a problem? Laura's dead. Uh, I'm sorry. Forget it. Wait. Have you ever seen this before? This is Laura's yearbook. Where did you get this? <coughs> Poltergeist. Friendly spirits. <laughs> yeah, right. Quicksilver, a teenage girl poltergeist known for leaving the letter Q wherever they hunt. Q? There was a... Uh, uh, uh.
This is Laura's yearbook. She had a secret hiding place. Behind the wall near the floor? Connie, I live in your old house. I know this is hard to talk about, but, um, how did she die? We only lived in that house a few weeks. When Laura started telling everyone, she thought it was haunted. She found out it was built over an old cemetery or something and said there was an evil creature lurking in the walls. But she was sick. She had this fever. The doctors didn't know it was wrong. Laura said it was the ghost. Well, what happened? No one believed her. How could they? They thought it was the fever. So she said she had to get rid of the ghost herself. How? She got a book on magic. And one night, she lit some candles. And no one knows what happened. The room caught on fire, and she... I think I know what happened. <coughs> Shoot. I'm not going to get more. Weird things have been happening ever since I moved in that house. Then I had this dream. There was a girl. I thought it was you, but it was Laura. I don't want to hear this. She was doing some kind of magic to get rid of the ghost, but it didn't work. Then she looked at me. She looked right at me, Connie, and she said, I did it wrong. She was telling me how to get rid of the ghost. I don't believe it. I can't. Look. I'm sorry if this is mean, but you didn't believe her the first time. And look what happened. It's happening again. My brother is sick, and I'm not going to let any ghost or, or whatever hurt him. I've seen it. I believe. I, I need your help. Laura's giving you a second chance. Hello? Quicksilver? If that's what you are, it does mean you're friendly, right? Man, I don't believe this. She's gonna help us get rid of the bad ghost. Where's mom? Uh, she went to pick up dad at work. Good. We have to do this before they get back. Feels so weird being here after all this time. <coughs> this is it. This is the stuff Laura used in my dream. Mom didn't have the heart to throw them away. What are you gonna do? We're gonna finish what Laura started. To trap a creature of night, trace a door in a wall with chalk so white. Surrounded by candlelight so pure, place incense and herbs in a brazier to burn. Arabarius Lokaradi, creature of darkness, come to me. It worked! A 
as darkness enters, ready his cage. A wand made of oak tied with silver will hold the night creature at bay and forbid him to stray. Order the night creature into the amulet. Arabarius Locaradet. There he will be for an eternity kept. As my brother. I don't know what went wrong. We did everything the book says. Laura said she did it wrong. We, we must have missed something. We must have. It's coming back. To walk. Aaron, it's coming. A one made of oak tied with silver will. This isn't silver, it's steel. I'm sorry I didn't believe you, Laura. I miss you. Connie finished what her sister started. Doug got better, and neither ghost was ever seen again. The end. So if you're gonna use magic, make sure you do it right. I declare this meeting of the Midnight Society closed.